Creating pools from Blackboard tests and exams. Creating question pools from Blackboard exams. When you're in your Blackboard course and you click on course tools and test surveys and pools and then review your tests. In here you will see the different tests that you've created over time. Now basically tests are tests that you have given to your student and they're in a certain order. For instance, let's look at this one real fast. And here's the test, the test questions, and in there that particular order. If you were, would like, you can actually bring those tests out to a pool. And in Blackboard, a pool is um, similar to a question database. And what happens is when you put your questions in a pool, uh, you can draw from them later on um, or you can share them with other colleagues when you create new tests. In Blackboard 9, they've made it uh, possible to actually pull uh, test questions from uh, tests as well as pools. So it's not as imperative to do this step as it used to be. However, many people do like to have pools and be able to share them with colleagues. Now if you have tests like this course does, what you're going to do is you click on test surveys and pools, you click on build pool, and we're going to name this bill pool chapter one pool. Okay, you can do a description here and instructions. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on find questions. This window opens up here and what I need to do is I need to select the tests that I'm going to use with. So I'm going to just take this one right here and for pools here I'm just going to go with the chapter one pool. So these have to be here. This is the pool we're working on. This is the test questions we're going to put into it. Now for instance I would like to put all of these questions into this pool. So I'm going to select show all. There they are. And if I want to get them all I can click here which selects all 30 questions. I press submit and Blackboard puts them in this pool for me. Pretty simple. Click OK and now I have a question pool of 30 questions. I can create another pool if I'd like and I'm going to say um, chapter 2 and 3 together and I'm going to click submit and I will go to find questions and again, the most important to narrow down your um, questions that are showing here, you're going to select for the pools chapter 2 and 3. And then you go under tests and you find the test. So I'm going to go with this one and we'll go with this one. So this is going to be just the two of those. Now, um, as you saw in my first example, I selected all of them. You can just pick and choose too as well. It tells you over here which test it actually came from. So I can pick and choose and then what I do is I click submit at the bottom and now I've built another pool pretty simple okay if I wanted to share these pools with another faculty member all I'd have to do is click on the drop down box select export and then I'd go ahead and save that file And on my desktop here, I have this zip file uh, that's available to me. Now I could email this to a colleague or, or um, give it to them on a flat zip dr uh, flash drive or such. And for them, when they come back in um, for their own class here, they would click on um, course tools, test surveys and pools. Go, they go to pools. They go to import pool. Browse their computer find that pool, there it is, submit, and Blackboard will update that pool for them and now they will have it in the course. If you do it in the same course, you'll have two copies of it. Okay, now with pools, when you have them in a pool, this is just basically, again, a little database area for you to keep your questions. You can always build tests from these pools. So I'm in here, I'm going to build a test, and I'm just going to call it sample test one and click submit and what you do is you click on reuse question find question again 
and if you get this option make sure you allow pop-up blockers and we're gonna go to find questions <gasps> we see the same thing again we saw earlier but this time we're gonna select the appropriate pool and we're gonna select the appropriate test here on the left okay now it's just showing those questions you can select questions or you can select individuals you scroll to the bottom down here you click submit and now you've imported those questions into your tests so that's what pools are um, in Blackboard they're just question databases that you can share it all depends on how you want to organize you can continue to keep your tasks uh, listed as tests here and just don't delete them and you can build tests from other tests or you can build pools and keep them as pools um, and pools of questions.